Let's talk about Lagrangian interpolation. The problem is simple. You have a bunch of data. There's gaps between them. You want to fill those gaps, essentially draw a line between those points. Now, depends on your philosophical view, this could be the easiest or the laziest one. You just draw straight lines between the data points. You might be surprised how often this actually works quite well. Up next, we have the Bezier curve, which is short for we're going to linearly interpolate the line linearly interpolated from all the linear interpolations, recursively. I am serious. The Lagrangian interpolation is just another way, and this time, the curve you draw will actually pass through those data points. Let's see how it works. Here's the formula. It's basically saying we'll get a way to each data point you have, and we'll add them all up. Let's take a look at how the weights are calculated. What we are looking for is a value that gets up to 1 when you are close to a point, and gets smaller and smaller when you are away from it. Remember, this is calculated for each point, and that's why we use computers for the job. Now, when you're multiplying, z on the left does not change. z on the right goes from 1 to n, basically everyone except i, which is the one you're calculating the weight for. Again, it's a lot of multiplying for each point you have to do. Now, this last part is for the masters or the masters to be. These two formulae means the exact same thing as we've just talked about. This symbol is the capital pi. It just means you multiply a bunch of stuff. Let's add one above for adding. Now, thanks for watching, and don't forget to be awesome.